Two weeks ago, I finalized my last studio project for my Master of Architecture degree and spent 10 minutes presenting to a panel of architects. But let's go back to the start. Seven years ago, 15 year old Kyle decided he'd become an architect because of something his brother said. He said something like, you should be an architect. And me knowing nothing about architecture said, why not? I did an architectural design course in year 11 in high school. And then I decided to go to an open day at the University of South Australia, which I thought seemed pretty cool. At the open day, I saw someone that I play ice hockey with walk past the classroom, which I thought was pretty strange. In year 12, I studied design with a focus on architecture and I designed a restaurant and brewery, which was shit. <laughs> I applied for the Bachelor of Architectural Studies at the University of South Australia. Little did I know what I was actually signing up for. But hey, I got accepted at the University of South Australia and I was over the moon with joy. Orientation day was my first day at uni. I knew no one and I was shy and awkward. My first day at uni, I knew nothing. I was now shy, awkward and confused about what I'm supposed to be doing. As the year progressed, I met some really cool people, which made it really unfortunate as to how little of them actually made it through the entire degree. Each semester, more and more of my new friends were dropping out of the course and I'd never see them again. At the end of the first year, I received a high distinction for my Michelin star chef concept. I also failed another project by not understanding what I actually had to do. First year was very up in the air. My tutor for that course that I failed was a director at an architectural practice. So already that's a pretty bad first impression on someone in the industry. In the summer break of that first year, I decided to go into his office. I parked out the front of his office for about 20 minutes, revising what I was about to say as I was going to go through those front doors. And I finally built up the courage to go in and ask if I could hang around the office for a day or two. I got work experience with him for two weeks. I learned a lot from that and it was a lot of fun. One thing that he said that really stuck with me was to cut my hair. I liked my hair, but fair enough, it was really gross. <laughs> the second year was cool. I ended up getting another high distinction for my last studio project, a space museum, and figured out that I really actually quite enjoy this. We have a lift off, 32 minutes past the hour. Lift off on Apollo 11. Fueled by the passion and high from that last semester, I started this channel in that summer break in the second year. What is going on, guys? My name's Kyle. Welcome to the podcast. This is the, the very first episode of the Successful Archie Student Podcast. And that high rolled into the next year. In the first week, going to a site visit to an adventure park where we'd be designing our next studio project. I have my second studio lesson today, so I'm going to be riding up to uh, the Adelaide Hills. So it's about a 30 minute ride on my motorbike and I'm going to be talking with the client and the whole class is going, we're all gonna go do a site visit, talk to the client. And I think there's gonna be some outdoor activities and stuff there as well, because the site that we're going to to design is a outdoor education space. That high quickly took a dip to become a low. COVID hit and uni was shut for the semester, but it wasn't all bad. One of my close mates got into an argument with one of the tutors over a Zoom meeting and caused him to leave the meeting out of frustration. That tutor is now my boss and he's a great guy. During the last semester of the bachelor degree, we were finally allowed back at uni, though my concentration was more on this YouTube channel and filming the architecture documentary behind closed doors. While I should have been studying and working on my own projects, I was going around Adelaide filming at a bunch of different architecture practices, following around the architects and the directors there, and producing a documentary. This had and still has such a huge impact on my life. The connections and relationships I built from that process, as well as the video editing skills and the confidence it gave me talking to people, which I wasn't very good at at all when I first started architecture. That was indescribably enriching to my character. From that, I also received my first architecture job. I also received another paid internship with another company. I was able to quit my job in retail and focus on architecture. That's where it started to get good. I was later offered a job with that bloke that I saw at uni that I play hockey with. He was actually a tutor at the uni, which is why I saw him on that first orientation day walking past and he runs his own company. And so that's the biggest thing that I learned. It's that if you wanna get a foot in the door in this industry, you really need to know someone. It's all about who you know, not what you know. Moving into my master degree in the fourth year, I again lost a lot of friends that weren't pursuing the degree. Now working for a firm, I started to realize that my uni grades and projects don't seem to matter 
that much. And I was armed with this realization that you learn so much from your own ventures and by burrowing down into your own passion projects. I was spending less and less time on my uni work, but still surprisingly getting decent grades. In the final year of my architecture degree this year, I've really taken on to teaching architecture online and spending my time creating these videos and teaching what I've learned over the past six or seven years. Whereas I do love practicing architecture and I love working at the moment, especially where I'm at now, whether it's what I'm going to be doing in 10 years from now, 20 years down the track, I'm not sure. But that's the beauty of this profession. There are so many different paths you can go down and explore different rabbit holes that lead and peek into other industries. And I think that's the beauty of it and the hidden reason why I guess I'm glad I started this degree, despite maybe not pursuing it in the future. You can really make it out to whatever you want it to be. There are no exact ways or methods of doing architecture. You don't sit down in an exam room with a hundred other students to complete the same test and answer a bunch of yes or no questions. There are no set ways of doing things and you can do it however you like. There are no written rules really. You get to think for yourself without limitation and take your skills in any direction that you wish. My advice for any students entering the degree would be let your passion guide you and don't let anyone's criticism or advice taint what you want to do. You will produce the best results working on something that you are truly passionate about. Whether I continue practicing architecture in the years to come, I'm not sure. I'm just incredibly appreciative of this opportunity to be able to do what I love and looking back, realizing how far this experience has actually pushed me and my character.